it's very safe to say that everyone has picked their side, so to speak. The majority believing the mainstream media, going along with what they are told, being normal. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting that being normal means becoming a brainwashed zombie that can't think for itself. The people who were willing to listen and make an educated decision have done so already. The people susceptible to fear-mongering psychological warfare are already adequately brainwashed. This is the main thing to understand. Just about everyone has been under intense psychological warfare for the past nine months, let alone the brainwashing they were under the majority of their lives, believing every single thing they heard from the mainstream news that they never even saw with their own two eyes. Unless you're an Amish person living without social media, you have most likely been negatively impacted in some way, shape, or form, this past year especially. The mainstream news sources have been very effective at demoralizing, dehumanizing, and humiliating everyone into submission. One of the most important things to understand is that millions and millions of people are in on it. They are in the club, profiting, benefiting off of that deception of the masses. What we refer to as the elite, the 1%, but they're not all rich and famous and super powerful. A lot of them are minions or peons that have been promised more than the average life. But these uh, people are far from elite because they could not win on an even playing field to save their lives. Imagine you knew all the truths, all the secrets that have been held from the masses for thousands and thousands of years. Imagine if you knew for certainty that everything going on was fake, the real rules. You'd be confident, happy, determined to make the best of the situation instead of worrying to go outside or interact with your family or if you're going to have a paycheck next week. That's how evil these people are. They want you cowering in fear while they smile, eat, drink, chat with their friends without masks on in private. The average person in this state of fear will not have the willingness or intelligence, the cognition to be reasoned with. You are wasting your time even entertaining the idea of convincing anyone of anything that goes against the mainstream agenda. The reality in the minds of the sheeple is not actually reality. It's how their brains interpret reality based on what they want, basically. The other information available to them, their environment. It's so unfortunate that such a state of mind has led to small business owners giving up their entire life's work over the word of the mayor, the word of the mainstream news, let alone a past law. I mean, if I had a business like a gym or a restaurant or something and I knew what I knew now, I'd stay open. I'd let people do whatever they want. There's no laws against small businesses operating. Yet Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, all these giant corporations are flooding TV with commercials, their parking lots are full. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting and small businesses are over. It's one thing that needs to happen because small businesses might not comply with the new agendas and corporations certainly will. Everyone's gonna work for Amazon. Better drive Whole Foods to rich people's houses. Dude, speaking of Whole Foods, it's crazy. Like you can go online and you can't even get a food delivery for two or three days. That's how busy they are. These people are making so much money. And where's all that money going? To their rat caves and caviar? Not enough people have stood up. Everyone seems complacent. And part of that is because no one wants to leave their comfort zone. The solution of opposing the government and going against the norm is unheard of. So people will accept being locked inside in poverty like slaves. Personally, I've sacrificed my social media well-being by talking about these topics. I could have sold out. I could have been peddling butcher box and EMF head devices that zap your brain for $3,000. I could have sold that nonsense. But I'm one of the only people I know genuinely trying to help people and instilling them with the confidence that these knowing elite have. The people that know what's going on about diet, about health, about nutrition, about lifestyle. I'm trying to convey that information that I've discovered and researched 
to as many people as possible. My suggestion to you guys, especially over the holidays, these next two or three weeks, if you're meeting with family, don't bother. If it won't directly benefit you, do not try discussing or convincing someone of anything that goes against mainstream. You know, my parents made me wear a mask two weeks after I was in the hospital for jaw surgery, yet my dad was going to the supermarket once a week, touching who knows how many things. I have to wear a mask in the supermarket, but it stops at that. So I'm not going to invest wasted efforts into things I know won't help me reach people that will listen. You know, it's one thing if your parents, employer, your neighbor is forcing ideas on you that's really, really negatively impacting your life, but that hasn't happened quite yet with me, although it appears that it's going in that direction for just about everyone and people are gonna be forced to do things they don't wanna do if they haven't already. Now, if you are in a position where you have to debate, discuss, or oppose mainstream, stick to very simple, basic facts. Things that make the person question their intelligence and the sources they're getting that intelligence from. You know, things that cannot be easily debunked by fact checkers. And let's go over a few of them. Back in April, at the peak of you know what, you know, I filmed the hospitals, there was the hashtag empty hospitals. Everything was empty except for the nurses dancing on TikTok and those millions and millions of healthcare workers kept the secret, they kept their mouth shut. It's funny, when people bring up secret societies, people say, oh, there's no way millions and millions of people keep a secret. <laughs> yes, they can, especially if it's for their own well-being. In February through May, over a several month time span, they installed surveillance in the form of LED streetlights, cameras, as well as new tower infrastructure, all while people are locked inside. Why is that? Did they anticipate they would need to surveil people for the next 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, however many years to turn people into a robotic slave-like plan? I don't, what, what is the plan? Why did they need to install that infrastructure? How is it possible that as soon as people get locked inside, literally the first week when it was dead crickets outside, Verizon has a fleet of trucks outside on every street. And no one noticed because they were in such fear and panic and you know, a once in a lifetime event came around. We can't forget event 201. They literally did a trial run several months before the real thing. And the top players and world governments that are now telling you what to do were involved in that. The fact that Every single outbreak sickness throughout history coincided with new radio tower or cell infrastructure as it has now, except what's going on with, with this is, is a whole nother level. Even super simple questions. Ask the average person if they can define what a virus is. They probably can't. And even if they could, they certainly can't explain how or if it's transmitted, how it behaves in the body, yet anything beyond that, that people just take for granted. And it's funny, when you tell people this stuff, then they'll still try to go back and argue with you. When they, it's like, dude, you don't even know the sky's blue. Don't talk, like, why are you even talking to me? Your brain is rotted out your ears. How many facts do you need? There's probably dozens and dozens of simple answers and things that can go against every single thing going on. Oh, the flu is suddenly gone. Oh, everyone that died, you know, suddenly has it. The mortality rate overall is the same. You know, the flip-flopping behavior of government leaders and organizations. You know, we've pointed out the obvious messages and contradictions hidden in mainstream psychological warfare tactics. Oh, all the test kits were infected, but make sure to get tested every week. You know, the most recent one being telling people to get injected. Oh, but suddenly there's a new strain. Does the injection protect? It? <laughs> Who believes this anymore? Seriously, what does your IQ have to be to believe this nonsense? Get someone to realize that every single thing they think has been something they were told by someone else, not something they discovered or figured out on their own. Their minds are not theirs. How would Anyone trust Big Pharma unless they were brainwashed and held hostage into getting injected. Injected with something that doesn't prevent you from getting sick, doesn't prevent the spread of it, and doesn't reduce the symptoms. It's, it's unbelievable. Back dozens, if not hundreds of years ago, 
our grandparents and great grandparents were not met with such corrupt and evil medical establishments. Now it's all about lining the pockets of the elite, all done by convincing people there is something wrong with them. Oh, you can't get sick anymore. We're going to put a chip in you to monitor your vitals. And as soon as your temperature goes from 98.6 to 98.7, we're going to ram your door down and shove a needle up your butt because that's what we like doing. It's, it is, that's, that's where we're heading. There are people that was, it's, I really don't know what to say. And, you know, these people in control have kept these secrets and information from the masses in order to control them for thousands and thousands of years. You know, if it's not what they're doing now, you know, they were doing things in past civilizations and past lives uh, that were manipulating people in other ways in different contexts. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this helps you out and hopefully some people in the comments can kind of, you know, accumulate all of the arguments against what's going on. Uh, one thing we didn't mention was the people that are intelligent enough to like debate like sciencey stuff and that, that they're usually just paid actors uh, because if you're smart enough to debate that type of stuff, you're smart enough to realize it's all nonsense. Uh, so if you guys could please sign up for the newsletter at frank com, like the video, uh, make sure you hit the notification bell, leave me a comment down below, and above all, if you can please share it on any other social media you use. Uh, but thanks again for joining me, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow's video. And uh, Merry Christmas. Thank <music> you.